This is the first power-up of an Ampex AG440CB, uh, I guess I'll call it. It has a servo motor, but it has B electronics. I'm not sure if someone made it that way. I haven't actually checked the tag on the back. But I was given one of these along with a factory C that is mono uh, from my friend Bill. This one was described as it doesn't actually have a channel working. Uh, beyond that, there wasn't a whole lot of troubleshooting done. So let's see what it does. This is, again, the first time I have powered it on. And I don't know what the last time it was powered on. Alrighty. We have a capstan. No meter lights. I forgot if this tape was tails out or tails in or what it was. So I'm not entirely sure. We'll see something in a minute, I'm sure, though, whatever it is. Input sensitivity adjustment. And nothing. Interesting. One moment. Well, while checking the connections, it decided, the channel 1 decided to come to life. This tape is, as a matter of fact, tails out. So it's currently running backwards, but that's okay for testing purposes. I guess the right channel did, in fact, go out. As we have nothing, check the head switch. No output. Very interesting. Speed sounds stable through what I can hear through a cranked up headphone. And went silent. Well, real quick there. Interesting. There it goes. Hmm. Well, the output sounds relatively good, although a little bit crackly. I can attribute that to it not having run in many, many, many years. And, uh, let's see here. Interesting. Okay, part three in a moment. Okay, well, I pulled and replaced all the I pulled all the cards and replaced them again. Um, we have nothing, but the channel does have power. I verified that. Um, although I can't quite get it to do anything. Um, any ideas on this one? Okay, well, I pulled all of the cards out of the top electronics unit and put them in the bottom one to see if anything will happen. Let's see. Oh, the meter bounced. That's a first. Go back into safe mode. Okay, you can hear that even on the through the headphones. Jeez. Okay, so then the problem definitely lays in the repro card. What do we got? Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, well. That's what it does. Not too bad for a completely free machine that was given to me. This one also has the quarter track and uh, playback head option as well. Pardon me, as well. I'm not entirely sure which one is up and which one is down on that, but it is what it is. Well, hopefully I can troubleshoot the playback card. If not, and see if maybe I can source a spare. Thanks for watching. More to come later on the other machines I got.